Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's 10 to 14 day video update. We're going to have a look at the weather for the next 10 to 14 days for this video. Day 10 will take us to the 23rd of September and we'll be able to extend out beyond that with the extended GFS at ECM ensembles. Maybe run to around a couple of weeks. We'll have a look at CFSB2 for October at the end of the video. I uh, haven't got weekly today, but I have got the CFS monthly. And I'll get on that for you in a moment. Just say that the first video saying uh, was for channel member. Channel member exclusive. Uh, ECM at Dodo 42 day. So check out that. If you're a channel member, um, and thanks so much everyone for doing that for Gals Weatherly. Just say that the calendar is out there, so this is the front cover of our 2026 calendar. So if you would like to uh, snap up a calendar, all you need to do is uh, come to our PayPal page, and you can find the link in the description with this video. Send £13 to Gals Weatherly's PayPal, and we will get your calendar out to you. That's £10 for the calendar, £3 for postage and packaging. Have plenty of orders over the past week. They're all going to be uh, shipped out or posted out on uh, Monday. So if you're waiting for a, a calendar, I'll be getting that out at the post office on Monday. Uh, thank you so much everyone for uh, buying the calendar, embracing the project. It's been absolutely uh, amazing project to work on. Thank you so much to, thank you so much to our calendar designer, uh, James098, for uh, designing our calendar as well. It's an awesome product. I'm very proud of it. And, um, and yeah, so if you want one, there's plenty available, uh, uh, you know, and, and snap up your uh, Gauss weather biz calendar. Thank you so much, everyone. Right, going to start off with the latest web wrap from earthnoldschool.net. Shane, that low pressure is dominating weather in the Atlantic, bringing in a westy flow, and this area of low pressure is going to be bringing some wet and windy weather across the country by the end of tonight, particularly the course of tomorrow. Central temperature has now gone sub at 16. We're sitting at 15.8, that is 2.3 degrees above 61 to 90 on the average. And it's provisional to the 11th of September. So very gradually that's beginning to uh, tick down from a high beginning. These are the GFS upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles. That comes with looking at Northampton today. So the red line is the 30-year upper air temperature average for Northampton. Looking very zonal over the uh, next week or so. Now we've got uh, warmer and also cooler, or cooler and warmer, cooler and warmer, cooler and warmer, sectors alternating uh, with one another at this time of year. That probably brings us out slightly below par of the temperature. If that was in the winter, of course, that would still be uh, above average overall uh, for the temperature because the, uh, the, the um, cool sectors aren't cold enough to offset the warm sectors. And even when it's cool, the temperatures generally hold up in a zone of weather pattern at night. And you don't tend to get all that much frost. But at this time of year, that's probably quite a coolish uh, signal, to be honest. Precipitation, well, it could be a lot of uh, unsettled weather to come over the next week, 10 days as well. So there will be further wet weather at times. Could be a little bit of a drying trend in towards the end of the month. But of course, that's a long way out. Extended range. And therefore... So reliable temperature anomaly is six five days to the 18th of September. A little bit below average of the north and west, nearer normal elsewhere. And precipitation anomalies for the next seven days to the 20th of September, largely west of an average, particularly so to the north and west. Right, let's start going through the all important chart data there. Miss Abel latest UK mate Euro run. Looking big night on Tuesday. One area of low clearing way to Norway, another area of low in the Atlantic. That turns things wet and windy for the north through the middle part of next week. A little bit of a ridge down in the south, could protect the south from uh, the most unsettled weather. And then, as you enter the last stage of next week, actually, the UK Met is starting to build up a ridge to our south and east. So that shifts the wind around to a southerly direction, probably temporary, um, because we have got quite a deep low in the Atlantic, and I would imagine quite quickly that low will push the ridge aside, but maybe a couple of days of warmer, drier weather actually through the uh, course of next weekend. Let's see what Icon's got to say, though. Again, that's bringing low pressure in off the Atlantic around the middle part of the week, bringing wet and windy weather up to the north. Should be some rain down in the south. Then trying to build up a ridge, but not as much so 
as the UK Met, actually. And so, uh, next Saturday, 20th of September, for example, looking quite unsettled with a pretty deep low to the west of Scotland. What about the KMA? Well, that also looks unsettled through the uh, middle part of this coming week, rather wet, windy. Ben trying to build up a ridge to our south and east, but again, very quickly, that's pushed aside by this, what looks suspicious, suspiciously like a dartboard low <laughs> coming in uh, next weekend. We do get a little bit of ridging around day 10 and beyond it. So, uh, starting to settle down as we go towards the last week of September. But that's probably quite a chilly ridge, actually. If you follow the origins of that, so as, as the low clears away, it uh, pulls in like a north northeasterly uh, wind. That does get modified by the Atlantic a bit, but I think that's probably quite a cold, well, quite a cool ridge. I would say cold because it's not can't really be cold in September, but probably quite a cool ridge, and um, with that, you would expect probably some quite chilly nights, maybe with some ground frost. That should help to bring the uh, temperature and the CT down overall a little bit more, actually. GFS Midnight Run, again, looking rather wet, windy around the middle part, we particularly so up in the north. The next low rattling in at the weekend as well, so certainly not much ridging going on there. Uh, next weekend, uh, up to day 10, well, then we do start to get a little bit of a ridge building to our south and uh, southeast. That shifts the wind around for a southerly direction, brings up some warmth from the south, but it's very quickly... Oops, where are we going, Gav? <laughs> there we go. It's very quickly uh, pushed aside. Uh, we do end up with an area of high pressure road building up uh, from the south. Again, that could be quite cool by night, maybe touch ground for us and mispatches by day should be relatively pleasant. Probably see the temperature into below to be teens Celsius under that area of high pressure there. Long way off, of course, two weeks away. And then we've got the GFS 6Z in comparison. Again, looking rather wet and windy through the middle part of this week. Then a little bit of transient ridge tries to get going at the end of the week, but it's very quick pushed aside by this low. So the, the GFS not interested in any ridging at the weekend. Far from it. <laughs> or oh, next weekend, I should say. Um, and day 10, well, all a bit of a mess, really, but still looking quite mixed even then. However, we do start to generate a ridge from the south as we go towards the last week of uh, September. Doesn't last all that long though and low pressure is back in again by the time we get through to the 29th of September there. Well, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like, share and subscribe. Make sure you show me share one for dear man. And make sure you drop a comment and let us know what you think about this and all of our videos and content. And uh, don't forget to tell your friends about guys when we get to subscribe to you. Thank you so everyone for dear man. We need to put on around 85 subscribers to get ourselves to uh, uh, 20.6k so if you could give us a sub that'd be awesome very gradually we're on the grind to 21k aren't we <laughs> and uh well we have really celebrated 20k have we um you know that happened so suddenly back in the summer but uh, we're definitely gonna have to do something to celebrate 20k but anyway we're gradually uh starting to grind to 21k slowly but surely um so if you could give us a sub that'd be awesome thank you so much everyone right gm again showing low pressure moving away to Norway, another area of low coming in through the middle part of the week, so all looking quite unsettled uh, next week. Next weekend sees a bit of a ridge attempt anyway, uh, but it's quite quick to push aside by the next lows rolling in from off Atlantic, that's the setup at day 10. So, high pressure from Azores, trying to ridge up from the southwest, and we also have the remnants, the remains of some sort of tropical storm and or hurricane there to the west of the Azores. And then the ECM rounds it all off with low pressure in control and in the ascendancy through the next week into next weekend, a little bit of a ridge attempt, um, and then a little bit more of a stronger area of high pressure builds in around day 10. So we could be seeing signs of a change here, actually, for the last week or so of September to something more anti-cyclonic. I think we do have that within uh, quite a bit of the model output today, the extended model output anyway. Again, the remains of some sort of hurricane or tropical storm in the North Atlantic are there. Now, what impact that has remains to be seen. 
the impacts on this particular ECM run is that the air of high pressure that builds there um, around the 25th very quickly <laughs> is, uh, is uh, collapsed by this deep low, which does contain the remains of that troublesome and or hurricane coming in off the Atlantic. So pretty buoyant Atlantic at the moment means that any ridging and air, any areas of high pressure are going to struggle a bit. Well, uh, this is a precipitation forecast based on the East Sham Road from Tometcho.com. So in comes all of this wet weather through the course of uh, tomorrow. Fair old soaking. Tomorrow across many parts of the country. Then, uh, we, then we're left with showers for the early part of next week for more wet weather piles in from the southwest around the middle part of next week, particularly affecting England and Wales. Further showers to the north and west as we go towards day 10. Day 10 itself, though, looking reasonably dry with an area of high pressure building through the country. These are the options on the table within the ECM ensembles today. Four day 10 from the Icelandic Met Office gets us to the 23rd of September. 14 members of the ECM ensembles with a ridge to the west. So, going to be turning drier, but could be a bit cool with winds coming in from the northwest with that. We've got 12 with high pressure to the south, low pressure to the north, looking rather flat and westerly. Then we've got eight with a uh, low pressure in the North Sea, a ridge to the west southwest, a low pressure there. So jetstream doing something like that with that. And uh, we've got seven with high pressure between Iceland and Norway. Low pressure to our south. That brings the wind in from an easterly direction. We've got another seven with high pressure right over top. Country, that includes big trial and operational run. And then we've got three with high pressure away to the east. So quite a few of those options are involving higher, higher pressure. Um, so we might be seeing signs of a change here, as I say, around days uh, 8, 9, 10 to more anticyclonic influence. And then in two weeks' time, these are the options that we've got. It gets us to the 28th of September, 20 members of the ECM ensembles with low pressure in the Atlantic and so we bring in a westerly flow 17 with high pressure between Iceland and Norway around that we bring the wind in from the east so uh, quite a bit of dry weather uh, with that could be a bit cool and then 14 with high pressure towards Scandinavia and that will bring in like an easterly uh, type flow, I guess. So the majority option, quite, it's quite interesting. The majority option is for 20, but looks quite unsettled. But actually, if you put the 17 together with the 14, the trend is probably within the ECM ensembles anyway, towards uh, high pressure. And I think we do see that with the GFS as well. So signs of a change here for the last week to 10 days of September. Let's just see if the week clears from the CFS have updated. Uh, no, they haven't. Right, so we can't bring you those today. However, we can show you the uh, 700 millibar height anomaly from the CFS for October. Remember, these charts change daily. Daily. Today's idea has a below average height low pressure to the north, above average heights high pressure to the south, and brings in the wing from a westerly direction. Driest weather then is in the south, all looking rather classic October, really, a zone of westerly. And uh, not much single for precipitation. Oh, you would expect probably quite a mildish month, though, with that, I would have thought. And uh, precipitation a double ears, well, driest to the south again, quite a weak signal. Hmm, we'll see. Okay, we're done. If you've enjoyed the video, please like, share, subscribe. Thank you so much everyone for doing that. Drop a comment, let us know what you think about this and all of our videos and content. And don't forget to tell friends about it, guys. Don't forget to subscribe to Thank you so much everyone uh, for doing that. I say we need to put on around 85 subscribers to get to 20.6k. So tomorrow, well, I'm hoping to do a 6 m forecast, but uh, I've got the first winter 2025-26 update to do. That is delayed from uh, last week. There's lots of speculation, Jim, around, as I know, but we're not doing winter updates this year. I don't know where that's come from, probably, probably because I didn't do first update last week because I've got COVID. Um, but anyway, uh, I'm going to try and attempt to get uh, the uh, first winter update done uh, when I get home from work this evening. And you should be able to see that tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. So uh, here we go again. Buckle up. And we're about to begin the countdown to another season of winter updates. I guess one of these. Well, you enjoy the rest of your Saturday. For this one, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.